This video explores all the various different ways to wire up events in Android. The objectives are listed here with a timeline for when they appear in the video. Okay, so for this video you should have knowledge of XML-based layouts in Android. And the purpose of this video is that I see some confusion with people without a very strong Java background when they look at all the different ways to handle events in Android and in fact pretty much in Java. There's just one additional way to handle them in Android using the XML based wiring up of events. And so what we're going to do is take a look really at each variation of how to wire up an on-click event of a button so they'll all be well understood as you see them in code samples and stuff that you might run into. All I've done to get ready for this is created an events demo project in Eclipse and done nothing else to it. So I have the standard out of the box Hello World project. What I'm going to do to get started, in fact I should fire up an emulator because I'm going to need that soon. And all I'm going to do to get started is to come into that XML based layout file and give the text view a name so I can talk to it later. And we'll just call it Android ID equal and then when you're seeing these IDs here, the one you always want to choose when you're working with these text views in the XML based layout is the at plus ID slash. What that does is it adds that ID to the r.java file and it makes this widget, this control available to be grabbed with the find view by ID because if you don't assign it an ID then you can't grab it with find view by ID. So that little plus symbol is adding that ID to this r.java so you can grab that dynamically in your activity that's using that view. Okay, and so I'm just going to call this change its name to text view results. And I no longer need to use this set the text. We'll just leave that empty and have nothing in there originally. And then we're going to start with a single button showing the first way to wire up events in Android. Let's just go to visual graphical view and we'll drag and drop a button on here. And let's just set its uh, layout width to match parent. And then the easiest way to wire up events in Android for on click events that is I have to close this and reopen it before I can edit it. That little bug hits me sometimes. And we're going to say, oh, I'll just call this click me. And we'll call this uh, BTN XML. Meaning we're going to wire up this button using XML. And to do that, we've seen this before. We come in and say Android on click and I like to use the name of my button underscore and then on click and that's pretty much all there is to it we drag and copy and paste that here go to our activity and say we have a public method void return type, sending in a view which is the button that initiated the button click event and that's pretty much all there is to it. So that is now wired up and maybe to prove that that's happening we want to come in and grab that uh, text. We want to grab that text view as well. And so to do that, we want to come in and say text view results. And I might start by saying, hey, let's use my snippet and say text view. Copy that in and do that find view by ID automatically. But then I realize, you know, for this demo, I'm going to have five, six, seven different buttons all using this same text view. And for them all to grab it individually might be wasteful. Why not go ahead and promote that to a instance variable? And take it out of here completely. 
and put it, and I'm going to make a mistake here on purpose. I'm going to put it right here. And then in here we're going to say, we'll see that mistake in a minute. Do you already know what it is? Dot set text to XML button event. So what's going to happen when we run this now? Oh, by the way, I have variable name masking happening right now. So when I copy this up, we know that this one is masking this one. So we have to at least delete that. But there's still another error beyond that if you'd already picked up on that one. So let's run this on up to the emulator. See what happens. Well, it loads OK. And we click on it and it blows up. Why did it blow up? Well, if we look in the log cat here, it says as we look down, we're going to find a java.lang null pointer exception happening in the on click event. More on the log cat later. So I didn't mean to close that. So at any rate, what happened? Well, that means this was a null. Why was that a null? Because we tried to grab that text view on this line of code and it couldn't find it, so it put a null in here. Why? Because it can't find the text view until the layout's been inflated and the text view is in memory. Common little pitfall.